A spreadsheet lets you organize data and calculations. My friend Sarah has been practicing her typing speed, and she's given me some data on her timed typing tests. I have how many words she typed and how many minutes she had to type them in. In a spreadsheet, you always put each piece of data in its own cell, so I'll put the labels in different cells in the top row. In row two, I'll pick one of her typing tests and record the number of words she typed in cell A2 and how long it took in cell B2. I'll put the data from each of her tests in a new row until they're all in the spreadsheet. My goal will be to calculate her typing speed in words per minute for each test. Before I do the calculations, I would like to style my data. I'll add a cell border so it's easier to see where my data is. I can style the headers myself by making them bold or changing a font, or I can use a preset setting. Either way, it's nice to draw attention to what I've measured. You can see that some of my labels are too long for the cells, so I can resize them by hovering between two columns until I get a double-sided arrow, and then I can click and drag to change the column's width. The words are aligned on the left side of the cell, and numbers are all pushed to the right. If I want, I can put them all on either side or in the middle. Now I'm ready to calculate the words per minute for each of the typing tests. I can start any calculation in a spreadsheet by typing the equals sign, and then I just click on the cells that I want to use. So the first words per minute calculation will be equals A2 divided by B2. I can copy this formula and paste it into all of the other cells in the table. Then if I click one of those cells, I can see which numbers it is using in the calculation. Some of my results have decimals and some of them don't. I think it looks cleaner for all of them to have the same number of decimal places. So I can select the values and specify that they are numbers. Then I can decrease to only show one decimal place. Now that I have the words per minute for each of Sarah's tests, I'd also like to find her average words per minute. I could calculate this by adding up each of her words per minute results and dividing by the total number of tests she took. If I do that, I'll want to be sure that I include parentheses because the order of operations always applies. To make things simpler, I can use a function by typing equals average and selecting the cells I want to average out. I can use functions to find Sarah's minimum and maximum typing rates as well. So that's an intro on some of the functionality that you can use with spreadsheets. They give you a lot of great options and check out our videos for more tips and tricks to go a little deeper.